talk about when did you first hear about gold as an asset and when did you really start to take it seriously as, oh, whoa, this is not just a shiny pet rock? Uh, gold is a financial asset. I think, you know, I, I feel like it's been, you know, really at the foundation of any uh, investor who comes to the markets or strategic investing from a macro perspective. And the reason why that is, is gold has a unique role as a financial asset uh, in the macroeconomic system as a contra currency uh, and as, uh, you know, essentially uh, a, a hedge to inflation, right? A hedge but uh, a hedge to inflation. So the way you can really think about gold from a macro perspective is gold is uh, typically non-interest bearing money. Uh, and as a result, um, you can really think about it two different ways. It's not interest bearing money that, um, that, you know, cannot be devalued in any meaningful way. And so the way that you, you think about that is um, gold often trades, spot gold often trades, uh, to the high side as interest rates fall and to the low side as interest rates rise on paper money. And the reason why that is, is because, you know, as paper money gets more yield, gold looks less uh, incrementally less attractive. And as paper money gets uh, less yield, gold looks incrementally more attractive. And then the other way to think about it at, is as a contra currency, particularly uh, as a storehold of real wealth. And so as a result, many of the ways to think about it is in cases where there are meaningful uh, inflationary pressures, uh, particularly at tailed outcomes. Not really like if inflation goes from 2 to 3%, no one really cares. But as you start to get to more tailed outcomes, tailed risks, gold starts to trade very effectively as a contra currency and a reflection of elevated inflation expectations. And so, for instance, if you're in an environment where there might be a meaningful currency depreciation, um, you know, a, a, a typical emerging market, uh, a balance of payment shock, those are areas where uh, gold can, you know, meaningfully hold a storehold of, uh, meaningly serve as a storehold of wealth against a high inflation environment or where paper currency is being depreciated.